Oh, the post says we're live. Who's pumped to see them uh, try not to embarrass themselves tonight? <clears throat> All right. Hello, everybody. David type for Drew. Jimmy J wants to see them be serious. I do, too. I do too. Ty is giving us the injury report. Thanks, Jack. And, uh, it's on the bottom. the bottom of the screen. I already did. Don't worry oh, about okay. it. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm going to add the G League guys so to it. All right. Uh, Springer, Springer's tuckered out, man. He played a couple games this week. Played two, uh, Monday, played Tuesday in the G League. Bobby Manning reports uh, Tillman told him that he had some swelling, swelling in the left knee. Uh Bye, Sam. Everyone say bye, Sam. <laughs> Everyone say bye. Off to a roaring. Ooh. Double trouble freezing for Sam. It's going to be quite the night chat. It's going to be great. <clears throat> All right. I'm done typing that. Springer's out. Yes. W, not in class here to hang out. John is here. Thank you, John. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We made a whole minute and a half. Mm -hmm. Early doors, early doors. That's what happens <clears> when here. it fucking rains. Tough, yeah, man. Good luck, on this. Good luck on the stream tonight, brother. Tell you what, playback usually doesn't get fucky on playback. Well, I don't know why. Know. Hello, Landon. But then we'll come do the post game, and it'll be like just cooked. Thunderstorms. <clears throat> Dunzo. Paris for House Pito. Is Murray out? Uh, no, DeJounte Murray's playing, I believe. <clears throat> yeah, he'll be... Uh, he's questionable as of 6.30, so we actually do not know. Um, I can look it up, though. Let me check Twitter. Uh, he's available to play. DeJounte Murray will be playing. So, I saw get that... Um... Sadiq Bay is like having surgery. He had surgery. Yeah. Mm. He tore his ACL. Tough. And so he had the surgery today. Noah put a video out of Tillman just drilling all the corner threes for the haters. I'm going to tag and Jake. You know that? I'm going <laughs> to tag him. Please do. One one time, like before a men's league game, like we need to like just record you making a bunch of threes, Jack, and I'll just tweet Me? the video every once in a while. Yeah, I don't know about that. I'm too inconsistent. Uh, no, I don't think. Uh, he might be back by the play in, but he's gotten it close. I don't know his timeline exactly. Speaking of being black, back for the play in, I guess black too. Embiid coming back. Oh, is he? Is that what that report said? I didn't listen to it. Yeah, it, I love that when they just tweet the video, and it's just, uh, hey, you have to actually listen to what I'm saying. Just tweet the news. Terrible. Yeah, just tweet, just just tweet the text. Prick. Hello, We're everybody. just getting on on the shams train now. Hello, Rui. My jump shot is Coke butter. What does that mean, John? I don't know if that that. Yeah, is explain. Good or not <clears throat> explain. Jack yeah, has the strap 100. percent <laughs> no, I do not. I'm like Dion Waiters. I'll either go 0 for 30 or I'll make them all. There's no in between. No, you don't do 0 for 30. You're honorable. Only because I'll stop shooting them. Actually, that's a lie. If it's open, I'm not going to stop shooting them. You got to keep taking them if you're open. Um, I'm pretty sure. Fat MB should be fun. Fat MB, Jesus Christ. I wonder if I can make – I wanted to test something this stream. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure there's things you can do. Yeah, <laughs> let's see. Well, I need something first. Um, I'm on the edge of my seat over here. I, you can make polls for YouTube chat. Like you can put a poll. And like can you? Engage the chat, yeah, but you need to be specifically in the YouTube like studio, not StreamYard. So I have it up. Oh, we, have nothing, we have nothing to poll. Pull up. So. What do you do when we do prize picks? Yeah, that's good. Did you like see we'll Kill Your Brain? Chat one pick. 
Yes, I did. <laughs> I I need to uh, save the um, Bleacher Report quote to my phone, so I have it. Oh, the the you're graphic. a bitch. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. Your mom's a bitch. He goes, you're a bitch, you're a bitch, you're a bitch, your mom's a bitch, your dad's a bitch, your grandma's a bitch, and he just kept fucking going down the line. <clears throat> Yikes. I don't know what, what the call, was he mad that he didn't get a call going to the rim? I didn't see it. Should we go watch? Should we do VAR? So, I did see the play, but I don't know if that's the one that he got mad at. So, at the end of the game, Philly's down by one, Oubre goes to the rim, and Kawhi blocks him, and he gets stuck. It's a wedgie, backboard, rim, stuck in the thing. But I think he thinks he got fouled. Looked clean to me. <clears throat> Lou Williams predicts Kelly Braids fines. This is twenty five thousand dollars per bitch, without a doubt. Probably. <laughs> they don't. They don't take that lightly. They're like, we're going to protect our boys, the officials. Timo says the refs just standing there taking it was hilarious to me. I'm surprised they did. Maybe they didn't want to make it about them in the last minute and like. Um, like tech them up and cost Philly the game. I don't know. Cause that could be a factor. NBA no says Paul foul George fouled Kelly Oubre in the last play of the game. Two minute report. Okay. <clears throat> so tough. Is this Oubre? Yeah, Oubre should have gotten the call there was somebody. Yeah, they admitted they fucked it up. Kelly Oubre quote responding to it <clears throat> afterwards said, uh, I try to represent God in the best way possible I can, and that wasn't it. You know, oh, yeah, really? <laughs> that wasn't up, it. So is Pete. Pete says, I'm supposed to be in a church finance committee <laughs> meeting, so you didn't see me. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, Pete. Respect. Thanks for tuning in. Chat, we'll be live on the Celtics Blogs playback again tonight with Jake. Uh, Jake Eisenberg of First the Floor. I think it's Eisenberg. I still don't know. I'm going to have to ask him. Ask him live on stream. I will. You see Delano Benton put up 30 again last night? Did he? Good for him. Yeah. I thought his answer to Bobby was kind of weird about getting traded. He was like, oh, it's like nothing to be bummed about. It's like, I don't know, dude. I'd be it, – it's probably bittersweet for him because he's playing really well now. But, I mean, the Celtics team seems like it's tight-knit. Not not even well, yeah, but how good the team is. I think just he wanted to play. I think he just wanted to play. And so he's like, yeah, I'm happy. I'm glad to be playing like actual minutes. I think we're no, one and important. two on playback. Are we one and two on Celtics blogs playback? On Celtics blogs, they we're won before the last game. They played the Pistons. Yeah, I think we've done Bucks, Jazz, this. So one and two. Well, Bucks Jazz wasn't was Celtics, Celtics blog. Bucks was yeah, us. Bucks was us. We did. Thanks, Dad. Yes. Hell yeah. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Not good. It's me. Fuck you. <laughs> um, but I feel like Banton maybe asked for a trade. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe. Good, Frank. How you doing? What, <clears throat> we lose to you guys are banned. I'm sorry. Well, we got Pelicans game too, so you don't really have a fucking choice. <laughs> you don't I'm have a choice, brother. I would like to be. We'll see. Oh, I'll be there. So I guess maybe Jack we can test some Sam's bad luck. Oh, let's see if I'm the cancer here. Springer needs a shot surgeon. Yeah. Assault. Great. Yes, Chris stops is playing. Thank you, Eli. Thanks Thank for you. the thanks for reading this read for us. <clears throat> Any thoughts on the last roster spot? I don't know what they fill at this point. If anything, it's gonna be Nimi. I think that's the only thing that's gonna happen at this point. Like, yeah. Should be Joe. I don't I don't I'm just not seeing anything worthwhile. Marcus what couldn't shoot either. I think you are wildly like Marcus wasn't a consistent shooter. Springer's like a non shooter. Glasses come next week, by the way. They said it's going to be a week. Like, this is, this is like Marcus's last year was like 31, which, or excuse me, 34 last year, 33, 33, 35, 36. Springer, his like first few years in the league, shot zero threes. And then he shot, um, <clears throat> let's see, two of five his entire sophomore season then eight of 44 then eight of 37 and now oh seven with boston so it's like there's a difference between <laughs> not a good shooter and a non-shooter springer's a non-shooter so you need to so kind of a funny wrinkle what if they were like hey springer btj mcconnell 
Because TJ TJ McConnell doesn't really shoot threes either. I don't think there's a place for him to do that on this team, though. Not yet. You can't have it. I just don't think you can have a TJ McConnell on this team. That defeats the purpose of the way the team's built. The team is built so everybody on the floor can shoot threes unless you are one of two seven footers who can screen and roll really well and demand the pay it. Like having a non shooter, you saw it in the in the last Hawks game. Like they just left him open and he bricked. <laughs> like like you just oh, you can't it was, really have it was that devastating. I thought it was gonna drop. <laughs> Look good. Look three years down the line. I guess. And I'm not gonna say he can never learn how to shoot, but if your whole point is Marcus couldn't shoot, like Look three years down the line, but he is here for nine years and he never like got to 40%. So I just, I don't think it's that easy. Like, it's just not something like you can learn to shoot, but it's I not disagree. the thing where like everybody. I don't think it's a guarantee, but I I don't think it's impossible. Like, I, I think he's got impossible. plenty of time to learn. I didn't say it's impossible and he could learn, but I'm just saying the argument of, well, Marcus couldn't do it to like shit on Marcus, but then saying, oh, Springer can do it. Don't crap on him. Like, you're saying the same thing. You just don't like one player and you like the other one. Like, that's. Oh, no. Yeah, no, no. I'm just saying I'm on the optimistic side of the fence at Springer. I have, I have no take on Smart. <laughs> Why? Though? I thought he was relatively fine for his shooting, or in general, you mean? His shooting was like fine. You, it, it was what it was. What do you mean? It's in what? I mean, what do you read back the numbers? <laughs> two of five, uh, zero of zero. Didn't take any his rookie season, but he only played two games. No, Smart. Two of, oh. <clears throat> Uh, smart. Don't yell at me as if you made that question clear. Uh, no, because I thought we were talking about Marcus, and I was like, well, he was fine shooting. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying Marcus was fine. Jimmy J was, and Jimmy J's I think point we was agree. Marcus made bad. I'm just saying, I it, it is possible. I don't think Jaden Springer will ever be a 38 percent three point shooter, though. I'm not. I don't think so. Maybe 33, maybe 34 on low volume, but it's just, yeah, they got to fix it. Hello, I mean, Tatum Sanders. shot thirty five percent the last two seasons. <laughs> it this is a very different thing. Don't even, don't even compare that. You're talking about high volume percentages versus taking forty a year percentages. Like that's just. I'm not talking about Springer. I'm still talking about Marcus. For the people that don't like Marcus <laughs> taking threes, you're the only one still talking about Marcus. <laughs> All right, move on. This is a dumb conversation. <laughs> uh oh yeah, Dad, can you drop the thing in the chat? Hello, Manny. <laughs> Did you put it in the chat yet, Dad? I didn't see the Papa Parlay. I know you texted it to me, but I wasn't sure if you typed it out. Marcus Hero Ball plays were not good in hindsight. Drew made that clear. Yes, but also Smart was like really good in the clutch in the playoffs last year. Like he was towards the top of the league. I think he was 50 plus percent on shots in the last minute of the game. Better mm-hmm. than anybody else on this team. There it is. My dad says KP 15, JB 20, JT 25, Derek White two threes, KP all the threes, then Celtics uh, halftime, full time. We even uh, put the odds. There. Yes, he did. Not bad odds. He's ready for it. Well, he made the <laughs> shot that he didn't get off for what it's worth, Eli. It's true. And I don't think that was necessarily his fault. <laughs> yeah, the ball found him too late. Yeah. Smart's the only player that gave the team in a hurry up offense in the game. Also true. He did play. I, people, I still don't get the people who completely hated Marcus. It doesn't make any sense to me. I, I thought <clears> he was <throat> fine taking shots. The, it, the end of the game shots is just weird because there is like a, I either trust this guy or I don't to it. Like, do I think Marcus should be a uh, give him the ball and get out of the way guy? No. But like if he's fine, if the ball is finding him, like I'm not going to be like, why does he keep getting these shots at the end of the game? Like, I don't know. It was always fine. I also think it is a, a mental thing and like an offensive spacing thing as much because teams will be comfortable letting Marcus beat them from, from three. They're not going to just leave Porzingis or Drew open from three. So it does create a more wide open, like free flowing offense like that. So I, I think the Celtics good. stupid to give up a guy that <laughs> teams would leave open. What do you mean? <laughs> well, I mean, it's a guaranteed open shot. E- easy, <laughs> no. fi- e- easy safety no, valve no, late no, in the no, game. No, 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 no. And we're going to see the Brown game winner. You thought that is cool. That is a stark difference in the late game. It is true. Game. Like that possession that ball play. swings around. Mm. Granted, Shane Larkin and Shemi Ojale were on the floor, but nonetheless. This is true. How about Spring the D White comp? I, I, I'm not saying Springer can never be a, like an okay three point shooter. I'm not saying there's no hope. I'm just saying, having watched him shoot the ball, I don't have I faith would, personally. I would be a guaranteed <laughs> open thing. shot. Not for long. 
It's true. Not for long. If you shoot like you did in the last game, then I shot okay. <laughs> I shot. I played better than I thought I played. Like I went back and thought about it. I was like, eh, I played okay. There was one game it's where you made cool. all of your middies in the pregame, and you came out and you just could not hit a shot to save. I know. Life. I shot like one of five or something. <clears throat> brutal oh, last week. What Hello, everybody. We don't have a game this week, do we? Because fucking nope. Easter. Easter. Rat. Damn bunny. That's what I'm saying. You saw Michael Beasley. No, I didn't. What is this? I love when these guys like that are prime examples of hey, maybe not everyone needs a microphone. Get in beef. Oh, it's my favorite. <clears throat> a. Robinson and Michael Beasley going at it after Beasley calls LeBron the goat. <laughs> who who fucking cares? Who the fuck cares? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> who cares? You're entitled to your opinion. Speaking of Springer, though, shout out to Troy in the Avery Bradley comp. Feels, feels yeah. realistic. I like Springer. I think he's a good player. I think he's a useful defender. Like, I think he can be a useful piece on this team. Mm -hmm. I just don't have any faith he's ever going to be a consistent three point shooter. Like, that, and that is okay. Like, you can still be a fine player, but that's just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Beasley referenced when he got planked and, and just knocked out by Jake Paul. <clears throat> Halliburton shot sucks Lonzo too. I'm not saying it's impossible. First of all, Lonzo fixed his shot. Lonzo fixed his shot. Um, Which means it's I'm possible. just saying, sure. I'm just saying I don't personally have faith. I You can disagree with me. That's fine. Yeah. I'm just saying I don't think Jaden Springer will ever be a 38% three-point shooter. That's all I'm saying. Ryan's saying, is it really crazy to put the ball in Pritchard's hands on the final play of the game? Have him drive or just go? Yes. I this is getting some momentum. I still stand by that this is a bad idea. I just it's I, time it's time for an article, Jack. <laughs> no, that's just not like that's this is just not how it works. Like this is like comparing to some degree, it's like comparing okay, I'm gonna go sledding. Why can't I just do that in the summertime? Well, because there's no snow on the ground. Defenses guard differently in the last two minutes of the game. Like the defense has completely changed the way they're doing things. The the Hawks are are willing to let Pritchard go one on one and then bully ball a bit crazy in the middle of the game. Meanwhile, they're not they're not gonna just let him do whatever he wants as late in the game. Like they're not gonna live with that because they know what's gonna happen. Like defenses guard different in the last few minutes of the game. They'll put a different matchup on him. Vic Krejci wasn't even in the game. The guy he scored all his points again wasn't even on the floor when he was doing that. It's just apples to oranges. And and at the end of the day, I think you need the ball in the hands of at least one of your top five best players. If we're like, I, I just, I'm not on board. He was good. He's fine player. And I, I wouldn't hate him taking like a, like if he's on the floor, I wouldn't hate him taking a swing, swing, open three. Like that's fine. But like having him in the, with the ball in his hands in the, the game, no, I'm not on board with. I don't know, man. I'm I'm not even like trying to mess with you, and I'm not saying it's the greatest thing ever. But like, there are things that like could be beneficial from it. Like the way that Pritchard will go in the paint and do the in and out, where he just like continues to dribble. It, it makes the defense have to be different. But you're not gonna get that. Like you're like the only time we've ever seen that is like in the second quarter. Like that's just not gonna happen. It's just you're not gonna get the same effect of it late because uh, he doesn't like have the chance. And I, I don't know if he should have the chance, but I think it would add different. <laughs> It would be different, and and he's like a good enough offensive player where like you could imagine it be like, well, it probably wouldn't be like a disaster. I disagree. I just don't think it's a good idea at all. You want the ball in the hands of your best players. He's not even in the top six. Like, I, no. Well, that's true. He is not in the top <laughs> six. Well, yes, he is. Offensively, yes. He's a better offensive player than Horford right now. Sure. Sure. You know what? You're right. I would rather Pritchard have the ball in the last shot than Al Horford, the sixth best progress. player on the Celtics. This is ridiculous. I'm not. I like no. Like this is just not like a good idea. I uh, Jesus Christ. You guys, if the, final the seconds entire left, chat winner. is going. I want Iguodala. <laughs> I, I'm not edgy. The only reason you guys are saying this is because you haven't seen him happen yet. This is this is purely. We've seen Tatum miss shots. We've seen Jalen Brown miss shots because they are the best players and they've just missed. Let's just keep missing the last shot. Guys, <laughs> you know what? Sure. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. I, I think I, both I sides have a point. More. You can't really, maybe it's not Pritchard, but I mean, there might be value in not I'm having I'm fine with Derek White yeah. running a pick and roll with Porzingis and getting Tatum involved in the action. I'm fine with Drew having it. I'm fine with all this stuff. Pritchard is like, guys, what, what are we doing? You guys are just angry. <laughs> That's all this is. You're angry and you saw Pritchard play well for a two-minute really... stretch in the second quarter. 
really <laughs> hope there's like a uh, like a nothing game that he gets to show out. That's not the quarter. same thing though. It's not even close no, but to not not a nothing game in the sense that the other team isn't trying. But like it's just like a rest holiday, rest white, and he cooks. <laughs> just just so just so everyone kind of pulls up on the block and is like, "What about now, Jack?" So let me ask you this, chat. Game seven, the NBA Finals. You're playing the Denver Nuggets. Two point game. You want Derek White with the ball in his hands. I'm at, like, and if you say yes, you're, you're a moron. I'm sorry, Sam. Anybody on the floor? Game seven, NBA Finals, Denver Nuggets. You want Pritchard with the ball in his hands for the last ten no, seconds. I, I would like the hot hand. That's what I would like. That that's my answer. This team so, is okay. good enough to where you can be like, this guy has it right now. We should. So go to him. if Pritchard was six for six, but hadn't taken a shot in the fourth quarter because he's probably not going to be getting minutes there. You'd want him with the ball in his hands. No, not, 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 if, not if he doesn't have a go in the fourth quarter. I, I think the fourth quarter is important to this, though. I think it's part of the conversation. Like, if Derek White scores four buckets in the last five minutes, or maybe, sure. maybe four minutes or something like that, you could be like, listen, he's got it. He's got. He's taking advantage of whatever the defense giving him. We should go to him. I disagree. Ryan, I, just, I cannot disagree with you more. Best true point guard, best dribbler and passer. He's like I don't third. know if he's the best passer. <laughs> <laughs> Eli, shut the fuck up, Eli. <laughs> Derek Tingus Pingus side pick and roll. I'm more. I don't hate Derek White at Porzingis pick and roll. I think Tatum has to be in the action. I don't care. I don't give a shit. He's the best player on the floor. He needs to be in the action in some way. He needs to be involved. He has to be involved. He's the best decision maker on the floor. He's the best gravity creator on the floor. I couldn't disagree with this more. This is <laughs> with all due respect. Like probably not. Probably not. I like Jalen as much as the next guy, but until we see the consistency with the chaos, the controlled chaos, then um, I don't know. I mean, he he's had game winner attempts this year that haven't been anything better than Tatum has gotten. Literally three days ago, he took an awful crunch time shot after dribbling twenty three times. This is my. He thing. did the I same think, thing. Birkin, is are you asking me like is JB JT the best decision maker? This is the way I think about it. I think in a vacuum, Derek White and Drew Holiday are better at finding those passes and making those passes, right? They are. But they're also not creating the same space that Jason Tatum is on a drive to make those passes. So overall, you combine it all together, it's JT not close. Just just ability to make these passes. And we're all judging JT based on the missed middies and the missed in the last few seconds, right? Obviously, because you missed them. That sucks. But we're not regarding or like referencing all of the passes he's made and all the finds he's made. Like... In those last clutch minutes, he hit KP in the Thunder game. He's hit Derek White on both the threes. He's hit he's hit Horford in the quarter a bunch of times. Like we're only looking at the shots he's making that he's missed and or made, not the decisions he's made because we just disregard those in our like analysis of this. And so I don't hate giving the ball to Derek White in the final two minutes of the game. I think he should get shots, and for what it's worth, he has been. We won about this in the Bucks game. Like we they have been mixing it up. It's been happening mm-hmm. a little bit. Like. And I, I don't hit your holiday in the spot either, making his decisions. I don't hit hit um, <clears throat> KP uh, in those things. And Andre makes a good point. Not even close to make decision major, whatever, right? J- Derek White and Drew Holiday might are better pure playmakers, but they're not creating the same space JT is making the decisions they have to make harder, making the passes they have to make harder. Like, it is way level. I'm not even angry. I'm just having, dis- I'm having a discussion. <laughs> I'm just explaining my thought process. And so that that is why it is JT not even close to me. Just just his ability to create gravity, his ability to get other guys open, his ability to draw two and beat a guy off the ball is far and away the best on top of the fact he's able to make those passes. I think Tatum has been pretty decent in, in like the last couple minutes of the game. But the last possession has been a disaster this season. He's been good in the past. He's had, I mean, he had the winner against Philly. He had the dunk to tie the game against Cleveland last year. He's had, he had a game winning shot against the Knicks. He made an overtime sending shot against the Lakers last year. Like there are plenty of instances of Tatum making the shot, but it doesn't always feel like he gets the greatest shot. And I think that's why people are upset. Now, I don't know if that means they have to go away from it, but I don't know if the, a uh, case of him setting up somebody is as evident in that situation. Not to say I would he be doesn't curious do to it. See, I'd also be curious to see how many of the shots you're thinking of. And I, I don't disagree with these. Miss the shots. Like you can't, there's no disproving that. Um, thank you Celtics for tuning in. Um, 
I'd be curious to see how many seconds he had in each of those situations. Cause I would bet you a large majority of them were less than 10 seconds left on the clock. If you run an action and it fails, you're going to get a worse shot than the mid range he's missing anyways. And there's no time for people to move off the ball and stuff. So like, I think it is a balance there. There's, I don't know. I, I still think just on him. Ball. <clears throat> yeah. I, I, I think just... there needs to be some work done from Joe to be like, Hey, mm-hmm. uh, this never works. Let's, Let's... do. <laughs> yeah, right. no, I agree. They need to switch it up. Let's do prize picks. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we do ball. have the hard out today, huh? Yeah, we do have to do it to play back. Okay, chat. Ready? Prize picks time. Pull it up. I'm going to take Porzingis off. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> okay. We have some Derek White stuff. We have JB. Mm-hmm. We have Tatum. We have Drew. We have Porzingis. We have Pritchard and Hauser, too. So we got a lot of stuff. <clears throat> a lot of Hauser stuff. Hauser points. Hauser points or threes? It's basically the same thing. Sure. Well, yeah. Well, this I think is... you're better off with points because there's more ways for him to score. At the same time, though, if he hits three threes and he only hits three threes, we lose this one, but we win this one because this is there's no draw. push. Well, it would push, but yeah, okay, fine points. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Hmm. I don't really like Porzingis. I don't like any of these. That is a lot of threes. Oh my god, Porzingis, nineteen and a half points in a six. I I think we. Am I crazy to say we fade the Porzingis threes? That's a lot of fucking threes. Let me look. I feel like he takes like five or six. He's good for like four or five every single game. That's probably a really, really good number. Oh, that's attempted. Sorry, that's attempted. I thought it was made. I was like, what the fuck? Yes, yeah. I see. That is okay. Never mind. That's fine then. I um, like over poor Zingas free throws made at, at four. More than more than four. Or more than three and a half. Uh left. Left column. Okay, more. Do you like Pritchard or anything? Have to do a Pritchard bet for the chat. Because they th- that is their hero today. Mm-hmm. What do we want? Jack is rage gambling on the stream. <laughs> what do we RJ want? says Hauser threes. Oh. We want the points. The same thing. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Pritchard threes. Yeah, we don't got his threes, unfortunately. Rebounds, assists, points and rebounds, points and assists, points or points rebounds, assist points and assists. For points, rebounds, and assists isn't bad. 16 and a half for all three. You might as well just get the 12 and a half. You're betting on him getting four rebounds. I mean, he's a good rebounding guard. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, points and assists. Uh, we need one Hawks player now. Wait, are there any fun ones? Oh, dunks. Jalen Brown or Tatum dunk? Yeah. Do we want one of those instead? I feel like a Tatum dunk is more reliable than Hauser. Okay. Tatum dunk. Any other fun things? Blocks. I wish they had uh, a <coughs> Derek White blocks. <laughs> Holiday is a weird one. Yeah, Holiday is odd. He gets it every once in a while, though. <coughs> Can we do Jalen Can we do dunk Capella? Too? Dunks? We could. Do you want to do two dunks for Capella? He cleared it we, last we have game. To, we have to, we have to avenge. Okay, yeah. chat. It's what we got. <coughs> Tatum, one dunk. Capella, two dunks. Pritchard, 12 and a half points plus assists. Porzingis, four free throws made. Thoughts? See DiVincenzo, 11 three pointers. DiVincenzo is really good. I had the wrong. He's been really good. All right. We're in on this. We like it. I'm in. Let's rock. All righty, Chad. This is the the prize picks today. Porzingis, at least four free throws. Pritchard, 12 and a half points assists. More than than half a Tatum dunk. So at least one Tatum dunk and more than one and a half dunks for Capella. That's what we got. There you go. Let me put the playback link in the chat for y'all so you can join us at um, during the game with Jake Eisenberg. Um, What's that? It's prize picks. It so it's ten, yeah, you get 10x your money if you get four picks correct on prize picks. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Please do. I got my sauce right here. This is actually old. I haven't gotten it in a couple days. Um, let me see. Yep. Uh, if you guys right, don't know, we are heading to playback for Celtics blog tonight. The link is in the chat. Come hang out. It's, it's us and Jake. Just pin the message in the YouTube chat if you'd like to join us on Celtics blog uh, during the game. 
can we get it to where I can watch or not? If you have League Pass, you got to sign into League Pass, Michael. Uh, you should be able to sign into League Pass if you're. Oh, because you're in Georgia. Yeah, you're probably cooked. Sorry, brother. Oh, that's <laughs> awful. It's Atlanta. Yeah, you, you get the shaft like once every season. We'll be there for the Pelicans game though, Michael. So you should be fine with League Pass for that game. Or I will. No, Sam, but I will. Deep I'm amazed. Hopefully, sees get up thirty and they get bored. They do. It is what it is. All right, Philip. Do like Phillips says, sub to the channel. We'd appreciate it very much. We're going to jump on over, uh, hang out with Jake on the playback. Again, it's pinned in the YouTube chat. Join us for the game live. Uh, and yeah, our recap of the game will be up on the channel at 5 a.m. tomorrow. And we'll be live with Talking Seas at 11 a.m. tomorrow as well. So we will Hell see yeah. you there. Thank you. Thank you. I will tweet out the prize picks that. Thank you for reminding me. All right. Catch you later.